there we are recording the show and we're gonna start streaming there she blows and I think I'm live I'm gonna go over here and check I gotta get in here log in let's see And we're going to poo poo ATO, Lyra. And yes, I know it's for mature audiences. I'm a mature person. Hi, y'all. Good to see that I'm here. Hold on, let me just uh, jump back on over to the software. Now, I'm going to say this up front. I got my friend, he made me a new banner for down below. It's a little bit thinner. I don't think it makes much of a difference, to be frank. I really can't see much difference. But for some reason, OBS is not forgetting about it. And I uploaded the new one, and it ain't showing up. I see it on the preview, but I don't see it over here on the program. And I deleted that motherfucker. So I don't know what just happened, but I'll just have to figure it out later. At least there's something there. At least there's something there. So, I'm going to jump back on over to Twitch so I can check out the, the chit-chat. Looks like we got a couple folks here in the audience. Welcome to the show, everybody. I think it's, what, the 6th of April? Is that right? April 6th, 2021. Um, we didn't have a show last week because, or two weeks ago, because it was or last week, yeah, because it was the fifth, it was the fifth month, uh, week in the month, and I only do first and third, so if you was expecting me last week, sorry, but um, I was off. Now, let's see if I can get my gauntlet on. See, I don't see my horrible old lady hands. I know I probably mentioned this before, but if y'all notice, that's what Dolly Parton's been doing for, I don't know, maybe 10 years. If you ever notice her in like anything interview whatever she's always wearing of course the long sleeves and the stuff but she's also wearing some kind of gauntlet or glove or fingerless thing and that's because you know as you age there i'll show i'm 47 years old and um this is what my hands look like and of course there's some sun damage and uh don't moisturize like i ought to and i you know, like all, almost all of us, got to work in a business that makes me have stuff on my hands a lot. So um, they don't look as pretty as some folks, but what the fuck is a thumb hole in this thing? Jesus Christ. There it is. Good God. Um, so, yes, I have, uh, but as the Oracola, I've always kind of worn these fun little gloves because I, I have fairly small hands, and I can fit into them cute ones you get at the little girly store in the mall, and sometimes they go on sale like 10 for a dollar or something stupid crazy, and you could just buy a bunch of them, and you know, if you leave them in the, the Uber, it don't matter, because you only pay like 50 cents or something like that. So, let me hop on over and check out the chat. Somehow, I got rid of the chat part. And I wanted to get rid of the, the video part. Come on, get on here. Thank you. Hi. Hello, Poo Poo ATX. Thanks for hosting me as usual. I do appreciate it. Okay, I got my, my program here so I can see myself. Okay, I think I'm situated. Um... In case you're just joining me, I'm Arcee Cola. I'm the Oracola. I'll be with you for the next hour or so tonight, doing some interpretations from the universe. Uh, basically, you ask me a question, and I can throw down either a tarot card. We can do uh, the Revelation Oracle, which I think is one of my most popular features these days. Um, and that's where I tell you a number and another number, and, and we read what that says in the book of Revelation in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Um, and it, it proves to be a really eye-opening oracle. I 
I really like it. I can't wait to see where it goes. Um, and then I have a small, simple, like, color oracle, just basic color reading for the, you know, what color should I be into? And then um, there's the self-care, the hat of self-care, because we all need to do more self-care. So that's what your choices are. If you have a question for, hi, Narissa. Um, if you have a question for the universe, and I will interpret it in the only way that I can, um, you can put it in the chat here, and I will answer you in, like, verbal language, and you'll have to chat back to me. Otherwise, I won't know what you're going to say or want to hear because I ain't a psychic. That's just, I won't know unless you tell me. So the more you engage with me, the more I can give you on that end. So that is what we're going to do tonight. And um, I guess we should, uh, do I look good? Do I sound good? Everything okay? Except for the little banner. It's not working like it ought to. I mean, what can you do? It's what happens when you don't do it like the night before and because you think, oh, it'll take 10 minutes. No, it never takes 10 minutes. It never takes 10 minutes. I should know this by now. I've been doing television for over 15 years now, 16 years. And this is television. This is the new, new, new way of TV. So, um, yeah, I should have done it earlier, and I didn't. And I sat down right before, and, of course, it's not working. But... <laughs> The old banner is up. All the info is the same. It's just like slightly thinner. So we'll, we'll try it out next time. All right. Let's set the stage here for the, the show. Let's invite the university in. And let's see what I got all my stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll like burn a little, little wood, a little sacred wood, the Palo Santo. Oh, I should do, I should do that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we just kind of offer this sweet smell and smoke up to kind of cleanse the air and invite the universe to inhabit the space, let them know we're here. I mean, the universe always knows because we are the universe, so we know ourselves. We're a self-knowing thing. It's just that in our particular incarnation in this dimension, we don't have like the intimate knowing of it. You have to kind of like put it into faith that you do, but it, it's not like you can just like dial it up. So we're going to cleanse our space a little bit. And this is sustainably sourced, at least from the white lady shop I bought it from said it was. So, hmm. Um, and then let's see, let's do a little bit of, a little bit of bell ringing. Spirits like tinkly things. It's like money tinkling in your pocket or your, your pocketbook. All right. And, uh, of course, we got to do our our witch spray from Galveston. I'm surprised it ain't gone rancid yet. I suppose it has, and I just haven't noticed. But we're going to do that here. Mm, that's it. That's to help me get the tips. That's for the tips. Um, this is a Rich Bitch Spray by Dorothy Morrison. I, I don't know her personally, and I've had this for four or five years, three years, I don't know. A long time, about four years. Um, I still got plenty left, so I don't know if it works, but why not? Can't hurt. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's all the ritual shit I do. I might add some things in there later at some point, but um, anyway, let me get my stuff. All right. We got the cards, we got the Bible, we got the hat, and we got the colors. So, you tell me, what do you want to know tonight? Tell me how you want to know it, and I'll tell it to you. All you got to do is type it in that chat, and if uh, none of y'all get started with it in the next couple minutes, I know there might be at least one, possibly more questions on the social media feeds. Not everybody can tune in, so that's why I record it. I hope I'm recording it. And uh, then I upload it later to YouTube. So those folks, um, if they get their question uh, answered, they can read it or they can watch it whenever it's convenient. Hi, we live in the future. 
We live in the future. Okay, gargle drop has a question. Um, I want help. You asked this question like two weeks ago or three a month ago. How come you didn't take my advice or the universe's advice? Maybe it was the wrong oracle. What what did what did we do? Did we do the cards? Did we do the revelation? I can't remember. I just know you've asked a very similar question before. And just to be clear, any kind of divination, any kind of oracle you receive is not a concrete yes, no, this is what's going to happen to you kind of thing. What it is, is an arch archetype or some kind of story or some kind of idea um, that you are supposed to work with on your own to create your own strategy to get yourself out of your own bullshit. Sometimes you might need help with that from like a therapist or some kind of like psychiatric medicine. Um, but usually it's just you, your own bullshit getting in the way. So this is how you kind of tune in to what path will probably help you out. Because, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know the universe. You are the universe. You know your higher self is like trying to give you signals, but it can't just jump out and go, ta-da, this is how it is. Because then what's the fun in that, right? What's the fun in that game? But up, bump, shh. All right, so let's see. Gargle job. I want help with finding my discipline again. To I, I've been there. I've, I've been the last like three, four years not really doing as much as I used to do and just sitting around my apartment getting fat. But um, I've, I've started to feel a stirring lately. And I think it might have something to do with the astrology. Now, I ain't no astrologer. However, I do try to follow along with the transits and um, try to get a sense of what's out there, just kind of the broad thing of it, just to see if it, if it makes a difference. Now, I can't tell yet, but it's fun to listen to at 3 in the morning when you can't go to sleep. Because some of them people drone on and on and on. And if they got some kind of British accent, I'm out. Except when they fuckers put on their ads in the middle of the reading, I can't stand it because then suddenly the progressive is yapping in your ear. And then, um, you know, you can't go back to sleep. So that's, that's my astrology journey right now. But uh, I do like to think that there's something stirring as far as the creative energies and those of us that have been stuck, like myself and the gargle job, um, we might be finding some uh, motivation soon, hopefully. So, what did you want? You want tarot. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. Maybe if I shuffle the cards on the Bible, it'll be more special. I don't know. I don't think my Bible's big enough. This is a Bible I've had since... <laughs> Since I was a little kid, and um, I got it, ironically, as an Easter present from, and I wrote it in here. Hold on. Let me find it. Let me. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block out my real name there. Hold on. Oh, my fingers are not big enough. Okay, can y'all see that? This Holy Bible is presented to RC Cola by the Easter Bunny. <laughs> that motherfucker brought me a bottle instead of candy! Dick. <laughs> anyway, that's my Bible. I've had it for quite a while. So, let me see. I don't think I'm going to be able to shuffle on it, so I'll just set it aside. We just... My, the cards take up too much room. They got their own. Th they need to breathe. Things got to breathe. Did any of y'all see my performance at uh, the Extravaganza on Sunday? I know. I know some of y'all might have been there. Wink. But uh, if you was paying attention to my number, you'll know what that joke is all about. Things got to breathe. <laughs> Um, you never had an Easter Bunny, Albert. That's so sad. Easter Bunny is like the best part of Easter. He brings you candy and cuddles. That's, that's like two things every child wants, candy and cuddles. Very simple, very simple. 
and mac and cheese and chicken tenders, you know, but I'm not faulting them. That's good stuff. All right. Focus, RC, focus. What, how can we get unstuck from this bullshit? This bullshit we're sailing. Okay, let's see. I'm feeling this card right here. Oh, the fool. Now, this is interesting. So, the fool is about beginnings, setting off on a, an adventure, and not worrying about how you're going to get there, how you're going to pay for it, how it's going to work out, who's going to like you along the way, who's going to help, who's going to harm. None of that matters. It is about starting fresh and with a sense of purpose and joy. You know, the fool goes off in on his journey thinking it's all going to be hunky-dory. And, you know, there's something to that law of attraction. If you're not worried about the, um, the, the, the horrible shit, it, you're not inviting it in, right? Think about it like that. So maybe try something new or try a new, a, a new way of doing a thing that you used to do. Like if you got a set of skills that you used to employ in one way, maybe um, do them a little bit different. I don't know. Figure it out. That's your answer. Okay, let's see. Who is, let's see. Uh, who was next? Oh, you said it was a different question. Well, it sounded a lot like the same one. But that's just me. It's been a few, been a few weeks. Um, mm, 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 ah. Let's see. Uh, Prance Albert, help me clear bad energies around me. Okay. Do you want a uh, tarot? Do you want Bible prophecy? Do you want colors or self care? I think any of them would be a, a, a good oracle for that question. Uh oh. Chat pause due to scroll. Self care. Okay. The hat of self-care. Remember my, my fun silver hat? woo -hoo! Too bad I don't look good in these kind of hats. I've never been able to pull one off. I think my hair is too floofy. All right. What kind of self-care should Albert be up to right now? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yep, that one. Take a walk. Get your fat ass outside and get some exercise. That's what the universe is saying. Take a walk. And I, I'm 100% with the universe on this. For anybody out there that's feeling unmotivated or just kind of stuck, best thing to do is just move your body. Move your body. And then, um, especially if you're out for a walk, what's nice about it is... it. In, even if you're on one of them power walks, but I'm just saying like a stroll. First of all, you're getting the fresh air, the oxygen. If you're in the day, you're getting some vitamin D. That's always good for you. And then also, you're just kind of like in, interacting with the world. Because the world, think about it like this. If you're in your house, you got all this filter around you. There's all this, this stuff. And it's keeping you from the nature that it, you are a part of in this dimension, in this uh, expression of the universe. So, um, getting outside is always good. Uh, grounding. Talk about grounding. It's a very uh, popular thing with the new age, but I do believe it has some some benefits. Uh, walking around barefoot, sitting under a tree, all that shit. So, take a walk, Albert. Prance your way around to happiness. Ugh. Oh my goodness. You're welcome. Okay. I see. Nerissa 74. Just a general what what. Okay. Tarot. What what in the butt. Remember that song? <laughs> I don't know why that just copped in my head. One of the stupidest songs ever. <laughs> oh my God. Who did that song? I guess... I could Google it, but I'm trying to shuffle cards. I'm not an octopus, so you just got the two hands instead of the eight. Though that would be fun if you was able to, like, get it all done. I think that's in a sci-fi show somewhere. Is it Star Wars? can't remember. All right, general reading for the Narissa. 
And oh wow, okay. The tower. So big change is coming. Some kind of big ass change is coming to you, and it is not going to be necessarily what you expect to happen. However, it is necessary because you cannot have something new in your life without tearing else, tearing out the rest of the shit that's in the way. So you get a new house, sometimes it's dilapidated or sometimes you lived in the house a long time and um, you, you just got to tear it down, start from scratch, rebuild. Um, but yes, do uh, mentally prepare for some kind of upheaval, I would say. Given the, the current climate of our world, I don't think this is an outrageous um, statement. We should all be prepared all the time for the worst possible thing to happen without inviting it into our life. Let me give that caveat. You know, it's one thing to be, I'm like, be there like mentally like, okay, if it happens, this is what we'll do. Kind of plan it out. But um, don't dwell on it because, good God, we don't need any more negative shit in our universe right now. None. Y'all quit it. Y'all quit it. Oh, yeah. yes. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for thinking my hands are beautiful and that I'm beautiful because I tell you what, I'm a certain age now and I'm starting to notice things. I was looking at my thighs because unfortunately, my air conditioning is broken. Now, thankfully, it is not 100 degrees yet, but it's supposed to get up into the 90s for the next two days. So they need to get on here double quick and fix it. I just sent in the maintenance request this afternoon after the office was closed. But usually with AC stuff, they're pretty quick. Now, cross your fingers. This is the part where you get to help me out. You can send your good vibes so that I get that AC fixed right away. Because I've been without the AC and it is fucking miserable. Oh my God. So yeah, I'm sitting here in my underpants and um, because y'all can't see it <laughs> um, yeah that's how I'm staying cool because uh, all this this is hot this is hot and the lights and the all of it it's hot so a uh, thank you for the compliments because I definitely don't feel 100% gorge right this minute <laughs> but I was looking at my thighs because I'm in my underpants and I was noticing some new varicose veins. <sighs> One spot I'm hopeful is just a bruise and will clear up, but there are some new rivers on my thighs. They don't hurt or nothing. It's just part of getting older, but, you know, you just look back on your youth and think, oh, I remember when I didn't have but a couple of them in weird spots that nobody would notice, but now... If I put on a bathing suit, everybody's going to see it all the time because there's like little tattoos of them all around my thighs. What you going to do? Oh, my goodness. Your balls stick to your legs. Son, they make powder for that. Why don't you get some of that gold bond and, you know, puff it up in there? Oh, my. Does anybody else have a question before we move on to the social media question? I know there was at least one. There might be more. Let's see here. Let me find the first thing. This is the one. All right. Oh, okay. So this is for Jade. Who posted a question on the Facebook am I gonna be okay um, well honestly nobody can answer that question for sure I mean in theory yes we're all gonna be okay because it's all gonna work out how it's supposed to work out right but I sense that there might be some more like kind of a cute thing happening uh, since you did not uh, do uh, since you know I didn't tell people how they were supposed to let me know how to do their reading uh, with uh, the social media post I'll just do a tarot because I figure that's what most of y'all want to hear anyway although the Bible is fun so let me do this 
for Jade. How can you be okay? So maybe if you don't know if you're going to be okay for sure, how can you foster an attitude of okay? How can I foster the attitude of feeling okay, of manifesting being okay? That's a tough one. We're going we're gonna to just get a general archetype on it, though. Give you a point in a certain direction. See if there's any fruit from that introspection. Okay? All right. And the answer is, oh, the magician. All right. So... I think the magician is telling me that there is some secret hoo-woo-woo in your um, arsenal that maybe you ain't tapped into yet. You know, magicians, they're, they're in touch with the, the magic, but they also put a lot of study and practice into executing that magic. There's a lot of skill involved, so you may need to kind of educate yourself in a certain way to manifest this magical power. But um, you feel confident doing it because this is your craft, right? So I would say look into manifesting some magic for yourself. And that's, that's how you're going to be okay. Okay? And I hope um, you're seeing this on the YouTube later. I'll post a link on the social media. And uh, I will also try to let you know personally. All right. Who else? Let's see here. Well, we got another question. Um, I don't know how to say Apollo Doc. I don't know what that if that's right, because I think some of those are, are zeros, but maybe they're capital O's. I'm not too familiar with this program and all the chat like symbols. Uh, <coughs> let's see. What we do we need to focus on to move on as a collective out of this nasty dark age into another renaissance? Um, I mean, I could answer that in any way. Did you want the Bible prophecy? Did you want the tarot? Um, so, let's see. Let's do, let's do a Bible prophecy for that one since, since you put it out there. Um, so this is how it works if you're not familiar. I will uh, ask you for a number between, let's see, I forget how many books are in. Oh, it's 22. So a number between 1 and 22. Number between 1 and 22. And that will give us the book of Revelation that you are supposed... Now, no cheating and looking it up. There's 22 books. We don't have that kind of time. So, number two. Okay. So, we go to... Let's see. Chapter number two here in the Revelations. Okay. So, uh, you need to give me a number between 1 and 29. 1 and 29. And I will tell you now, every single word of this was spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is quoted throughout this because I have the Bible that puts all of his uh, words in red. So you don't have to think about too hard what Jesus said. It's like real easy to tell. Um, okay, so number 23. All right. Book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 23. And this is how the collective is going to get ourselves into the Renaissance. Okay. <laughs> I can already tell this is a good one. Woo! It's hard to read this red. All right. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. I think we might have read this one before. I don't know about, maybe. Anyway, basically Jesus is saying, uh, eye for an eye, if you've been a bad, naughty thing, then you are not getting no help from me. I'm going to smite you even though I love you. And I will like murder your kids. So you can't pass them devil genes on to nobody else. So... 
that's basically it. Um, we need to be good. Need to be good or um, we will end up making a world that is not good for the kids. The, the children after us, the generations after us will inherit a even worse situation. So it's up to the collective to think about the children. Think of the children. Think of the children. Maybe that's it, you know. Everybody just needs to, like, get off their own bullshit and think about the kids. As much as that's a cliche, they are the future. They are the future. All right, let's see. Um, who's got eighth pence? Eighth pence has a question. Will the others slash shadow people make their appearance this year? I believe they've already made several appearances throughout the entire humanity's history. I think that they are a pretty common resident. They just don't always um, appear visible to every single person. You know how we can't see very much of the light spectrum. We're just kind of in this really narrow band of visible light, and we can't hear all of the frequencies. I think the shadow folks kind of like live in that other just like just out of frequency but some people might be able to kind of like see it a little bit I don't, I don't know if that's making sense but I, I'll, I can do something for you um, <coughs> so um, how do you want to get this answer the tarot the the Bible colors or self-care you gotta let me know otherwise the 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 conduit is not open. I mean, I, I could bullshit it, but wouldn't you rather the universe give you the answer? Hmm. I think you would. All right, the tarot. Um, just a disclaimer again. Sometimes I forget to tell y'all, but um, I have my own tarot deck that I made myself many years ago out of scrap paper and terrible drawings. And... I laminated it, and it's been my deck for my shows since I've had it. The Old Oracola on um, Public Access, this was the show. And so I made these cards to be simple to see on camera, just, you know, with some basic illustration and some keywords. Um, and I also chose to only do the Major Arcana, <clears throat> which are the 22 main uh, cards in the tarot, and then only do... A one card representation for each of, each of the four suits <clears throat> and in that way you get a good flavor of it with the one card reading it's not going to give you much in depth of course there's thousands and thousands of tarot decks out there that you can get acquainted with there's collectors I mean there, there's a lot of ways that you can get into it there's Oracle cards which are tarot like but not necessarily they're just different concepts so um, reflection decks, all of that. So there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but this is just the way that I choose to do it. So it's tied into the traditional tarot, but a little bit abbreviated. It's the uh, it's the Cliff's Notes version, if you will. <laughs> do we still do we still have them? I remember. I remember if you walked into a bookstore uh, at a certain time in the 80s. In possibly the 90s, there was that whole like display of Cliff's Notes, which is basically the summary, the Wikipedia of all these classic books. And um, I remember in high school one time, one of my teachers was like, "Well, we're gonna we're gonna do this test, and let me tell you, it's so in depth that if you don't read the book." And you just look at the Cliff's Notes, you are going to fail this test. Well, we all knew that was bullshit. So we, most of us, did the Cliff's Notes, you know, did the, the cram, and did pretty good. It was like a kind of an essay type test. But there was one poor girl, who, and we only knew this because she was upset about it and told us all. She actually took the teacher's advice and didn't read the Cliff's Notes and tried to read the book. Well, the book was kind of a, some kind of 18th century, 17th, I don't know, old shit, hard to read, hard to understand, uh, probably translated from some foreign language poorly. Um, and poor thing, just, she almost failed the test. I think she got a D or something ridiculous, but everybody else sailed through it. And um, 
that might be a good metaphor too. Sometimes it's not a bad thing to look at the Cliff's Notes. If it's already been read and done and someone summarized it up real good for you and it saves you a bunch of time and you absorb it better, get the Cliff's Notes. Hey! Yes. All right. What do we want? All right. What did you say? Other shadow people. Okay. Back to the off on a tangent. No, it is not vodka in a popsicle. It is grapefruit juice and Topo Chico and vodka. Mm. I don't do no popsicles. Sick. All right. Shadow people in the shadows. Shadow people in the shadows. All right. Ooh, the emperor. So, um, I already told you I think the shadow people are here, but maybe the shadow people will be uh, presented to us by the authorities at some point in order to advance some kind of nefarious agenda having to do with controlling the population with fear. <coughs> Pandemic. <coughs> Um, yes, I know people get sick, but still, uh, the propaganda is thick. Y'all got to admit it. Um, anyway, so that's, I think, an interesting way to think about it. So I would keep an eye on, uh, the leaders, uh, the leaders of our world, and they ain't always the politicians. Keep that in mind. The emperor may choose to, uh, reveal something. Hmm. Hmm. Will it divide us further or will it unite us? in a way that we overthrow our overlords and get that renaissance for the kids. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. Let's see. Will they be revealed? Okay, July. Well, I'm, I'm down with it. As long as my AC works, I'll watch that on TV all fucking day. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Will 2021 hold a Rihanna album, biblical version? Okay, well, so I'll just tell you now. Rumor has it poor Riri's lost her singing voice. She did too much of that uh, wacky tobacky and um, didn't take care of herself and uh, probably blew out her vocal cords singing like she did for so long. So the rumor is that uh, she's just not capable of putting out an album. Now, it may be that she works with some folks like Jennifer Lopez does and all the rest of them uh, and, and has, like, help in that way and puts out a, a banging album. I mean, I wouldn't fault her for using backup singers as her real singers. I mean, that's been going on forever. I mean, there's probably plenty of folks who can kind of sing like Rihanna anyway. I ain't worried about it. Okay, so pick a number between 1 and 22. That's for uh, who, whoever asked that question. Uh, Rihanna. Oh, yes, you. 1 and 22. Revelation 2.23. Is that your answer? Oh, you want 10. Okay. You were just chatting about something. There's a delay, so forgive me. So, okay, so Revelation 10. Give me a number between 1 and 11. One and 11. Let's see. What is the answer? Seven. All right. Book of Revelation, chapter 10. Verse 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the ministry of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. Um, so, yeah, I, I think when uh, the answer to your question is, Rihanna will put out an album when Jesus uh, sounds the horn to start the, the apocalypse or something. I don't <laughs> I think I think that's the answer to that. <laughs> so yeah, it, it I wouldn't hold your breath. Wouldn't hold your breath. Just enjoy what she's given us so far. 
Uh, she's busy running her billion dollar clothes and cosmetics empire anyway. Probably bored with singing songs. I mean, if you've been doing it since she was like a teenager, yeah, you get tired of it after a while, right? Oh, here's a question. If, um, if, five beans and an ass Chianti, if, um, um, what, uh, are your parents Illuminati? <laughs> well, that's a heavy question. I really don't know. Unless you found their laminated, uh, membership card somewhere. Or I guess now it would be kind of a lanyard ID, some kind of thing. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Illuminati don't even need that. They can just sniff each other out. Um, how do you want me to try to give you some guidance on how to seek this answer for yourself? Because I really don't know how to go about it. Um, you get the tarot. You get the self-care. You get the color oracle or the Bible. Biblical. Well, y'all are on to Jesus tonight. I mean, he just rose, so he's, he's uh, back in town. Everybody wants to see him. Let's see. All right, so number between 1 and 22. Number between 1 and 22 is uh, what you got to tell me. Oh, you, you got it down. Wrote it like you should. 14, 8. Okay. Let's see. 14. So, the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 8. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she hath made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. <laughs> I think your parents is definitely Illuminati based on that. Because that is the most Illuminati kind of like vision of the world. So I don't know if you'd be able to get them out. If I was you, I'd ask how to join because it seems like a pretty good deal. You get to be like in charge of everything and not suffer any consequences. So maybe you should study up on how to be a member. Oh. Wall Street Wernal Giant Wine Club. Well, no, it could just mean that they're suckers. Because them club, them wine clubs, if you looked at them prices, damn. You think you're getting a deal, but when you calculate up what the, the cheapo wine down at the store costs, even if you buy it at the convenience store, you get a, a lot more bang for your buck. And it tastes about the same, to be honest. And after like three glasses, you can't tell what it tastes like anyway. So I say save your money. Don't get roped into them uh them subscription things, because it's hard to get out. They just keep charging your card, and every time you call them up and say, hey, I, like, unsubscribed six months ago. I got the email, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, we're sorry. We'll fix it. And next month, charge. Yeah, it's a big pain in the butt. Mm. Hot tub and a full-size bar. Well, shit, you should invite me over. It sounds like people I want to party with. <laughs> Most definitely. I party with your parents. I'm I'm of a certain age. I might be older than them. You don't know that. Oh my goodness. Anybody else got a question? We've only got about fifteen or so more minutes on here. About an hour is all I'm good for. After that I tend to get draggy. My voice starts going out because I'm still trying to get my voice back from being quiet for a whole year. It was I didn't talk to nobody except my dog. So, I mean, every talk, every, all the talking I did was with my fingers. I just was talking with my fingers. So, you don't, you don't uh, keep the you don't keep the instrument in practice. And um, if you do what Riri did, which I did some of, I will admit, you might lose your voice. It happens, just like varicose veins. They happen. Um, any other questions? I can also check my social again. Let's see here. Hold on. I, I saw that. Now we're just, now we're on a tangent. It's like someone threw in the dick joke at the, at the improv show and we can't get off the dick joke. Um, hold on. I didn't check the Instagram earlier because, oh, that's not my thing. 
There's my pen. I got too many pens. All right, let's check the Instagram. See if we got any questions on there. Let's see. Uh-uh. Let's see. Nope, no Instagram, and I don't think anybody's probably done anything about the Facebook either. And reactions, but no comments. Okay, well, I guess we'll answer the, the dick joke. Um, Elon Musk, reptilian. Well, he looks funny. He looks like his face is ill-fitting or something. I can't quite put my finger on it, but definitely some kind of weird, like Vincent D'Onofrio inhabited by cockroach alien in Men in Black, that kind of look. Um, he's not that cute. He was a lot cuter 30 years ago. All that cocaine can mess up your face. Just saying. Plus, he's got, what, like 20 kids? Have y'all looked at how many kids Elon Musk has had? It ain't just with the, the Halsey, or not Halsey, what's the other one? Grimes. I get them ugly names confused. Um, Grimes. It ain't just with her. He's got like five or six kids from some other women. I, I mean, imagine how he is as a father. He's a CEO of these two enormous corporations, the, the Tesla, the SpaceX, probably some others. He's always traveling. He's got his fingers in all kind of pies. Um, and he's got a bunch of kids that I don't know if he actually spends any time with. Very interesting. I, I don't know. Maybe he's a family man. Maybe, maybe them lizards like to like keep their brood. But, you know, most of the time lizards just lay their eggs and then get the fuck out of town because they don't want to stick around and take care of them little fuckers. So, like, they bury them in the sand, they send them on their way, and uh, they hatch, and uh, then they, if they make it, they make it. <laughs> That's how lizards raise their kids. So that might be a clue. But, um, let's see. Let's see. How did you want to do tarot? Tarot. Is Elon Musk a reptilian? I tell you what, whoever fitted the royal family for their faces did a better job. That's my opinion. Some of them was, you know, they're, they're getting saggy, but uh, some of them in the early years wasn't too bad. All right. Mm, Elon Musk. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> um, so, of course, this doesn't actually tell us anything about his reptilian status or not. But what it does tell us is that fate is an interesting thing, and the Wheel of Time has brought to us the Elon Musk celebrity CEO era. And however you like it, it he's going to be there doing things. Some things might actually help humanity. Other things may not. But really, it's up to fate. And uh, it, unless he takes off his reptile skin or it just falls off when he's on a news conference or on Joe Rogan, um, we ain't going to know. So, there's your answer. There's your answer. Uh, yeah, Prince Philip does look dead. <laughs> I loved that color, that makeup palette meme that was going around when he got out of the hospital a few weeks ago. And he had, he had uh, the bruising and the... the he just looked terrible, poor guy. I mean, he's like 100 years old. But um, <laughs> that was funny. It was savage. Savage. Oh, my God. Uh, do I need to choose a color? Younger girls. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I miss you? Oh, if it's not too touchy, well, believe me in Rhapsody. I don't know that. Honestly, I never know any of this stuff. Uh, my drag family and I, we're, we're family, we love each other, but we really don't see each other often, and we don't hang out a bunch, and anyway, if they were on that show, I wouldn't know about it, because they have to sign non-disclosure agreements, typically, uh, to participate, so it's in their best interest to kind of keep that on the down low, especially uh, blabbing off to people that might blab it on a, a live thing like here. So, no, I don't know that. I don't know the answer. 
Um, and I can't throw a tarot. I guess I could. You want a color? Let's see a color. Let's see. All right. Well, let's let's choose a color. Let's see if that gives us any insight into this question. I honestly hadn't thought about it, but I mean it's possible. All right. Leave me in. Red. Mmm, interesting. The color is red. Now, what does red mean? I'm going to look this up real fast. Red is the color of passion and energy. Red draws attention, so um, action, strength, uh, blood, um, sex, like all those like red seductive things also like getting pissed off and stop red light um getting mad like red in the face so possibly hold on I've gotta find my thing again possibly so possibly but like i said i ain't been told nothing but that that ain't surprising i'm i'm usually the last to know about shit in the family and and I'm not upset about it it's just it's just the way it works I don't live in their part of town and you know stuff like that so I ain't got any more questions we got about eight more minutes here in the stream islands in the stream that is what we are not on Dragula oh I ain't got through much of my cocktail yet. Been yammering on too much. All right, hold on. There you are. This little, this little fucking window's pissing me off. Ah! Get back here. There you are. Okay. Finally. Maybe, maybe Blood Red is Dragula. I don't know. Is that, I guess that's one of their colors. I mean, kind of goes without saying. Oh, oh, you chose, uh... Oh, no, you can't pick the color. I picked the color. But now you know that. <laughs> Thanks for playing the color, Oracle. Oh. Color plus your energy for Prince Albert. You want a color, Albert? <clears throat> I think last time you got shit brown, so let's see if we get a different one this time. You got blue. Look at that. Let's see. Let's see what blue means. I don't have these memorized. I just pulled it up on the internet, but I hope y'all are okay with that. All right. <clears throat> oh, trust, loyalty. Um, you know, it, it's a calming energy. It's protective. It, think of like the, like the water, the, the, the calming waters, the, the blue sky, the, the, um, you know the the peace, the the dove, all, all the all the things. You know, blue makes you feel good. I, at my old house, I had my bathroom painted mostly white, but with like blue on the top. It's like white on the bottom, blue on the top, and the ceiling was white, so it looked bigger. And there was a wind in there, and and then like the trim was this darker blue, and then you know just it kind of felt nice inside when I went in the bathroom. When, when you go in the bathroom, you don't want to feel anxiety because then you can't take a dump. You want to feel relaxed. Um, my current bathroom is not nearly as uh, friendly as far as being blue and common, but uh, I have not had difficulties taking a dump yet, so I guess it's good enough. It's kind of a, kind of a beige, grayish, whitish, very uninteresting color with Terrible old cabinets, lots of water damage. <sighs> Such it is in low income housing. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Apollo Doc. General read for the remainder of the week. Um, let's see. Well, I can throw that out there. We got five minutes. Did you want the tarot or did you want something different? Could do the self care. Do the revelation, can do the tarot, do the colors, all the colors, see the colors, see the colors, see the colors, see the, y'all know that song by Beck? 
God damn, you know what? I'm not ashamed to say I really like fucking Beck. I like Beck. Not that I fucked him. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. I like Beck. I like his music. I like his trajectory from the guy that sang the Loser song all the way to like the most recent stuff. He seems like a genuine artist to me. And he's always putting out something a little bit different. So, yeah. Um, all right. Whatever you choice. All right, well, let's do a card. Let's do a card. I'm glad y'all like Beck, too. Because I don't think enough folks appreciate him, to be frank. I think he's an artist that kind of flies under the radar, which is fine. You know, he was in the Scientology for all the, them years, and I'm sure that did a number on his psyche and his finances. So, whatever he's up to now, I hope he's doing good. Oh, I'm sure we will. I mean, Beck's put out music like every year for the last 30 years. Even if it's not an album, it's like a, a, a collaboration. In fact, I think he did a collaboration with the Gorillas recently. Maybe not this year. It could be this year. Look that shit up. All right, Tarot. Rest of the week. So just uh, letting y'all know what my astrology podcast listening told me this morning before I drifted off and had a really fucking weird dream. Um, supposedly this week, astrologically, is going to be a little bit dicey. So the energy is going to be like kind of speeding up a little bit and you're going to want to get shit done, but there's also a lot of like kind of difficult things happening, so you just... Be prepared for the unexpected. You might be like in a hurry and like have an accident, slip and fall, um, you know, knock a tooth out or something stupid that just because you was in a hurry, that kind of thing. So that's the energy. Oh, you also might say some shit that you regret later. So just rein it in. Rein it in. Um, let's see. What the tarot says is uh, this week. Oh, wow, that's a great one to end it on. Mm. So we got this earlier. Remember Joe got, uh, no, Gargle Job, got this earlier. And um, it was all about starting a new adventure and not being afraid of forging a new path. So that is the energy of the week. Just uh, the energy of the fool. Know that sometimes things are going to happen that you cannot expect because you didn't know it was going to happen but because you're in an optimistic mood and you're raring to go you got all your energy you ain't got no blisters on your feet yet everything's good you ain't you don't smell too bad you know it's all good you, this is a good week to start some new shit so start some new shit maybe i'll start exercising some more because i don't get enough my gut's getting big um and also just you know, maybe fall in love with life. The fool is a happy-go-lucky fool. The fool is a fool, but uh, so many things about the fool are, are good things, things that we need in our life that are, um, that are necessary for us to enjoy this experience on the planet in this dimension as an aspect of the universe that's not really aware but is aware. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ignorance, well, ignorance is kind of bliss sometimes. Uh, it's, it's bliss if you, like, are ignorant that you have to pay the electric bill until they cut your electricity off. That's, that's where ignorance is not bliss. That's just being an ignorant ass. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for joining. I'm glad that y'all showed up. I didn't even get to, like, read most of the chat, <clears throat> but it seemed pretty active. Even there was, like, three of y'all, mostly chit-chatting. Oh, there's eight folks, so that's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat just for questions, so if I, I miss something that you put in, I'm so sorry. Um, it's just that's how it's going to be right now while we're doing this one-woman show. At some point, I might be able to get a staff, but um, not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. So keep tuning in to all your friends. We do this every first and third Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on twitch.tv slash poo poo ATX. Poo poo platter is 
my home uh, troop here in Austin, Texas. We do drag and variety and all kinds of fun things. You can check out all of their other shows on their channel. I believe they have a few coming up. I don't know exactly which ones, but check out their stuff. Poo Poo ATX on Instagram if you want to follow on the gram or on the Facebook. Um, I am not doing anything besides this for the foreseeable future, although I know we got a show coming up on Mother's Day. I don't think any details have come out, but we've just said we're going to do it. Kind of the same thing like we did on Easter uh, for the extravaganza at the Little Gay Shop down on Airport Boulevard near Shady Lane. Uh, they have a big open kind of back area that's paved over. Um, it, it's like a parking lot, and we can do a, sh a show out there safely. Everybody gets their, like, designated camping picnic areas, and it was a whole lot of fun. So we're going to do that on Mother's Day. I'm going to do this again uh, in two weeks right here at 9 p.m., and uh, I don't know. I might be thinking of another show concept, so stay tuned on my Instagram and on my Facebook, and uh, if you don't follow me, go for it. Do it. I will be putting this up on the YouTubes later, so if you like it and you think it's funny and you want to share it with your friends and encourage them to watch me again, then please do so. I will get the link up, hopefully, if I recorded this, uh, sometime by tomorrow. All right. Uh, one more question. All right, Al, one more. Just one. One more question. And then I got to go because it's been an hour. It's been an hour, and I want to get ready and go to fucking bed, because I'm an old lady. Yes. If you don't ask it in, like, the next five seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. Who will the Oracola be in 2020? What do you mean, who will the Oracola? I'm the Oracola. What, that's a... In tw that's me. That was a stupid question. I'm sorry. You don't get a card. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have enjoyed myself thoroughly, as always. I have loved chit-chatting with y'all, and uh, we will see you next time. Y'all have a great week. And, um, yeah. We're living it, right? We're living it. Bye, y'all.